happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be reviewing an acrylic nail kit for you all born pretty was nice enough to reach out and wanted me to review one of their acrylic nail kits and of course i said yeah because you all know i am on my acrylic journey learning how to sculpt and build and do acrylic nails and so of course i want to try as many acrylics as possible so they were kind enough to send this over and let's take a look at what's inside Ooh, oh lord now one thing I will say you guys, I'm going to give full disclosure is I could smell this monomer through the packaging, okay? Um, this box originally came sealed with um, like plastic on over it and when I popped it open the smell of monomer just kind of smacked me in the face and so even me just pulling it out the box right now, the smell of monomer is still smacking me in the face. So if you all are kind of sensitive to monomer smells, I don't know that this would be like the best kit for you all because like I haven't even opened anything yet and I can smell this monomer. So it does come with a user manual okay so it just shows you how you're supposed to use and pick up the acrylic it comes with the dappin dish which is nice you can never have too many of these it comes with dual forms well that's kind of strange okay it comes with dual forms which i don't think i've ever seen an acrylic kit come with dual forms but it comes with that it also comes with a file um you know just like a, a basic file come with nail forms which is always good to have and then it comes with um some acrylic brushes which i thought was really cool so it comes with one two three four five acrylic brushes and they come to a point so i'm wondering if these acrylic brushes are going to be good for like uh sculpting um or carving because it does say on the box here carving so maybe you could do like some 3d nail art with it i'm going to just take one out i'm going to take the biggest brush out here because that'll probably be the one i end up using Okay, and this is what the brush is looking like. It's a really stiff brush and it does come to a point. So it'd be interesting trying to use this to scope with, with it coming to a point like that. So we'll see how this works. Let's get into the funnest part, which is the actual acrylics themselves. And they are 30 ml, which is 1.01 fluid ounces. And that's cute, they got their little logo at the top. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, so this is a nice, pretty, like, baby pink color. So that's what that's looking like. I want to feel the consistency of it. Okay. It feels pretty smooth. It's not grainy, but it's not, like, super finely milled or super smooth. It's, like, kind of in the middle. So that's the baby pink color here. It also comes with, let's see. It doesn't look like they're sealed, um, but it comes with a white. Okay, let's see. I want to check the consistency of all of them. Yeah, they're all the same. And then it comes with what I believe is a clear. Okay, yeah, it says clear at the top. Okay, yeah, so that's a white, that's the clear, and yeah, this is pink. Okay, so here is the clear. Okay, this one is sealed though. That's good. Okay. And that's what that's looking like. Okay. All right, the consistency feels the same on all three. Here is the monomer. It doesn't look like it's spilled or anything like that, um, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit afraid to use this because the smell is so strong. Like like I said, as soon as I opened the box up, it just was kind of like, whew, it like came at me and when it's kind of, just kind of smacked me in the face a little bit, but it is their monomer that comes with it. It's 60 ml, so it's two fluid ounces. This is everything that came in the kit. I'm gonna go ahead and take this beautiful set off. I know y'all. <laughs> she cute ain't she though Ooh. so yes if you all are curious about how i got this beautiful set here i am going to leave all the details for this design link down in the description box below now i'm going to go in and swatch the born pretty acrylics um i do have my swatch sticks here ready to go because it is fall time i thought it would be appropriate to go ahead and pull out my fall dappin dish y'all ain't this cute got it from dollar tree super cute and then i am going to go in with this acrylic monomer y'all when i say this stuff is strong it is very 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 strong um but i do like the fact that it has a little pointed nozzle here so i'm just going to squirt some into my dappin dish Okay, I'm going with the clear. And this is the brush that also came with the kit, so I am gonna be using that for the swatches as well. And you all know when I swatch my acrylics, I like to swatch on top so that I can get a feel for how the acrylic itself actually performs. So I'll go in, one, two, three, tap. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on top here. All right, right off the bat, I see that it, it hardens like right away. <laughs> Like, I had no time at all to put it on my brush and uh, put it, yeah, 
this stuff hardens like in 2.5 seconds. Like, you see how dry it is when you put it down? I mean, you pretty much got to just place and go with this. It hardens very, very fast. I think that if I tried to use this for sculpting, I would have a very difficult time. This monomer doesn't work with you. Okay, there we go. Well, maybe you just need to keep a little bit more monomer on the brush. I normally like put the brush in and then tap off. I think for this, you probably just need to put the brush in and just leave all the liquid within the brush itself. This is what that first swatch is looking like. It is not pretty, y'all. Let me see if I can smooth it out a little bit. Also, the brush isn't all that great. Maybe that's why I'm having a hard time here. But not bad though, okay, not bad, okay. So this is what the clear looks like. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the pink. Not really the biggest fan of the brush. Um, it looks like it is holding some monomer in it there. Um, but, you know, not horrible overall. So I'm gonna put it into it, one, two, three. That's me letting it polymerize a little bit. And like I said, you gotta work fast, like, I mean, you see, as soon as you set it down, it's not self-leveling or anything like that. Well, it self-levels a little bit. I'll, get, I'll take that back. It self-levels ever so slightly. But you have to leave pretty much all the monomer in the brush in order for it to do that. Best advice is just work fast with this. So when I dip my brush in, I'm not even tapping anything off. I just go in with a really wet bead and then set down. You see? Okay, and then I'm able to work with it. Okay, not bad though, not bad. Okay, happy people, so with these acrylics, I did find that it was a lot easier to go in with a wetter bead in order to give the acrylic a little bit more maneuverability. I do think that overall though, if you're trying to sculpt and shape the nail with this acrylic, it would be very difficult to do. So I actually would recommend using these acrylics for um, like 3D nail art. I think they'd be perfect for that. That's what the pink looks like. It's a really beautiful translucent pink. Now I'm going in with the white acrylic and I'm gonna be swatching that. Um, I did have a, a fairly easy time swatching this. Again, I went in with a very wet bead. And then I will say too that while I was swatching these acrylics, I really couldn't smell the monomer as much because I had a stuffy nose. Um, but when I asked Hubby it, you know, how he felt about the smell, he said that he felt like my Young Nails monomer was actually stronger than this one, which I was actually surprised about because I think the opposite. Um, so yeah, that's just my thoughts on the acrylic overall. Um, I do actually have a discount code with Born Pretty if you all are interested in any of their products. I will leave it here on the screen. It's Rose318 and I'll also leave it down in the description box below in case you guys are interested. Okay, so this was all three colors look like swatched. Again, I'm gonna go in with each color. This is what the clear is looking like. Oh, that's what it would look like glossy, that's matte. This is what the pink is looking like. Oh, this is what it would look like matte. This is what it would look like top coated. Oh, it's hot. What in the world? That's interesting. The acrylic is actually hot. Like it feels warm to the touch. That's new. I've never had that happen before. Yeah, it's actually warm. That's weird. Okay, so that's that. This is what the white looks like. That's what it would look like matte. And this is what it would look like glossy. And this one is not warm. That's strange that this is hot though. Has that ever happened to you guys where like an acrylic is warm to the touch? Like this feels really hot for no reason at all. That's kind of strange. But anywho, um, yeah, they, this is what the collection is looking like. I am going to go ahead and um, prep my nails and I will be right back. Okay, happy people. So I thought it would be cool to go in with the reverse ombre that's like trending and super popular right now. Um, so I have already prepped my nails off camera. Um, I went in with my rose peel off method. So that's essentially where I do minimal nail prep. So I've already dehydrated my nail with alcohol. I went in with my, my Maran peel off base coat and then I topped that off with my matte top coat. And that is how I got to this point. By doing this method, it allows me to wear my set for at least a week, week and a half with easy pop-off removal. Now I am gonna go in with the white color. I'm gonna be using some bright, vibrant colors for my reverse ombre, and I want to just go ahead and have a white base so that the colors really pop. So these are my full cover tips I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be going in with the Lazy Girl method to apply my acrylic this time around. Just uh, take my first tip, and I'm gonna edge the inside of the tip with monomer. So I'm just gonna take some of the monomer that's in the dappin' dish already, and I'm just gonna go through and line the inside of the tip with it. And that's supposed to essentially edge it and allow for better adhesion, okay? So 
so that's what that looks like and then now I'm gonna go in with the actual acrylic itself I'm gonna go in with it at the tip of it first because this does set a little bit quicker than what I'm used to and so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it to the inside of the tip and just kind of like smooth it out move it around make sure it's covering sidewall to sidewall and yeah this is just a quicker easier way to apply um, a color and or apply acrylics so that you don't have to do work sculpting y'all know sculpting is like a struggle for, a struggle and a half for me this is my first time actually doing this method I normally go in with the lazy girl method um, with poly gel but yeah you see how it um, essentially it just fills in the color and so now this is the part where I'm going to actually adhere it to my nail itself so I'm gonna go in with a small bead here like so and fill this area in that might not actually be enough to adhere it to my nail so I'm gonna do like this it might be enough okay and so while this is still wet okay the key is to do it while it's still wet I'll go ahead and apply it to my actual nail so I'll go into the cuticle and then just lightly press down press down press down like so okay and then it really looks like it's on there <laughs> and even though there are clear spots that's really not a big deal to me because I'm actually going to um, be going over that with a color anyway so that's what that's looking like and I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process on the rest of the nails and I'm going to try to get it closer to the cuticle and tuck it but y'all see how nice and natural and flush that looks this is an alternative way to apply acrylic okay and then the underneath looks really good if absolute need be you can go in and smooth the underside of it with monomer but honestly I think I did a pretty good job so I don't even have to do that so that's that so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you all that one more time so I'm gonna go in with my nail tip etch the inside of the nail tip with monomer like so then I'm gonna go in with the um, acrylic bead and place it at the tip first and this is just going to be really just to fill in the color like so you don't need a lot a little goes a long way again I'm gonna flip it over so you guys can see the color looks nice and opaque like that so then I'm gonna flip it over to this side and this is going to be the bead that I apply to adhere the nail and I feel like this method works really good um, with this particular acrylic because it does set so fast so just going in with a nice generous amount here okay I might even add just a little bit more oh, that should be enough then I'm gonna flip it over go in at the cuticle okay and then just press down press down press down like so that's good any spillage I get around the cuticle I'll just go in with the cuticle pusher here and just remove that like so you see how easy the cleanup is so as I was doing this um, hubby walked in and I asked him did he feel like this acrylic smell was stronger if he felt like the other one was and he said he felt like my young nails monomer was stronger which I'm like there's no way <laughs> so I thought that was interesting he, he thought the other one was stronger I wonder if it's because he hasn't smelled the young nails one in a while he thinks the young he thinks the monomer in general smells really strong which I mean it does but I honestly think that this one is stronger than young nails so yeah these two have been applied now I'm gonna go in with my um, ring finger and I'm literally just gonna repeat the process I might end up keeping this in in real time just so that you all can see how quick and easy the process is it's probably gonna take me like all the five minutes to get these on you know and I'll likely do my thumb off camera so again, a small B we'll go in with, set it down at the tip, smooth it out, like so, flip it over, another small B, and this is what we'll use to adhere it to the natural nail. Go in at the cuticle, press, oops, go in at the cuticle, press down, press down, press down, okay. If there's any spillage, you will want to just clear it, clean it up with the cuticle stick. Yo, this monomer is like eating through everything right now. It's crazy. And if you get any acrylic underneath the nail like so, you'll just want to go in with your cuticle stick and remove it before it hardens. 
this is what the nails look like after they have been applied using the lazy girl method and yeah it's my first time doing it I don't think I did too bad again these white spots here at the cuticle I feel like I can cover those up once I go in with my nail art but yeah so far so good I'm liking the little hack here okay but first I'm gonna go in and crisping up the shape of the nails really quick and really I'm just gonna get rid of that little tab there and smooth crisping up the edges I'm gonna go in and crisping up the edges with my I'm just gonna use a sanding band so this is what the nails look like after they've been file shaped and buff now I am gonna go through with just the alcohol wipe and clean the surface of the nails so now I'm gonna be going in with base coat on all of the nails and that's just gonna give me a nice smooth surface. I'm gonna go in with my gel liners. I have this Neon Green and SXC 201 and Joss Love. And I'm gonna go ahead and try that reverse ombre that's been trending because, you know, why not give it a go? I think the design looks really gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna go in with the pink on one side of the nail, on this side of the nail here, and I'm gonna go up the entire length of the nail. This is, I feel like, what I've been seeing everybody do, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead and just kinda of fill it in as much as I can. And then I'm gonna go around and tighten up that cuticle area with my liner brush like so. Okay, that looks good to me. And on the other side of the nail, I'm gonna go in with my neon green, okay? And then do the same thing. Just do a straight line here. And then just fill it on in. That's really pretty, look at that, yee. And then from there, what I'll do is I'll take my liner brush and you'll wanna go through back and forth and just kinda of like alternate between the two colors and that's gonna create that kind of vertical ombre situation, like so. Now y'all know I struggle with ombre, so I ain't the best at it, but we just gonna go ahead and see what we can do over here. If I feel like the ombre went too far over, I'm just cleaning off my brush on a paper towel like so, right? And then I'm taking some of the actual color itself, so on this side I want more of the green in the middle. And then I'm going through and just kind of like covering up that the part where I feel like it went too far at to create more of a seamless ombre. Like so. Alrighty, so this is what the first half is looking like. I feel like the ombre looks, you know, okay. Um, so now I'm gonna go in and just reverse it. I'm gonna go in with the grain liner on the opposite side. So like so, like maybe something like this. Okay, and then fill that in. And then on the opposite side, I'll go in with the pink. And then I'll take the my liner brush here and just blend in the middle. So I'll take a little bit from one side and then just blend it towards the middle. Like so. And I'll take a little bit from the other side. I'm gonna clean, I'm cleaning my brush off in between, and then take some from this side and then blend towards the middle. Clean up my lines to create that perfect French ombre. Okay, so I'm gonna go in like this. And then what I'm gonna do too is with this brush here, just crisping up my French tip, just to make it look a little bit more seamless. You know? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just kinda crisping it up a little bit.
That looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. All right, yeah, that does look really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that process on the rest of the fingers. These nails kind of remind me of watermelon. <laughs> Okay, happy people. So as I was doing this design, I realized that the key to the perfect ombre is just taking a little bit of the color from one side and slowly blending it over, not taking it too far to the opposite side. And if you do take it too far, you just wanna bring it back in with the actual color itself. So that's how the ombre was looking thus far. Now I'm going in and creating the French tip and then also doing that same ombre technique in the middle um, to get a seamless um, flow from one color to the other. Honestly, you guys, I feel like that ombre turned out good as it is. I don't think I need to go through and do anything to it, believe it or not. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just cure this for 60 seconds. Wow. Yeah, y'all, I feel like that second nail turned out perfect. Like, that was like absolutely perfect. This nail, I feel like the French is a little bit too high up, but we gonna keep on with the process here, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do my next nail here, and I'm gonna speed through the rest of it. So I was really happy that I went in with the white acrylic um, because you all know that when you're using bright and vibrant colors, using a white base really helps the colors pop. And I feel like that white acrylic definitely did that with this design. Um, and so now I'm going in and um, doing my ombre with my detailer brush. And I am wiping off the brush in between um, each color that I'm using just to make sure that the opposite color doesn't get contaminated. And now I'm going in with my French tips. Now, the best way I found to do a French tip is to do one half of the nail first, like half of a semicircle on one side and then half of a semicircle on the other side and then fill in. That's what I found the easiest way for me to do French tips. When I did the French tips, my goal was to not have to go in and do any cleanup and surprisingly enough I was able to on all the rest of my fingers outside of my index fingers do all of my French tips without doing any cleanup work um, and yeah y'all I like how this turned out Alrighty, so this is how the nails are looking so far. I feel like they turned out pretty darn good. If I do say so myself for my first time doing this reverse ombre situation. And so now I am gonna go in with a little bit of bling. Y'all know my sets ain't complete without a little bit of bling activity. So I do have my neon bling box that I got from Royalty Nail Supplies. And I actually already picked out the rhinestones I'm gonna be using. Um, I'm gonna do some simple gem placement on all the nails. I'm gonna go in with the Beatles rhinestone glue as well as my Pretty Diva top coat to get everything adhered. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna apply just a thin layer of the rhinestone glue down the center of the nail right here. Just a little bit goes a long way. I don't really need much. And after I do that, I'm gonna go in with top coat. And so, Again, it's gonna be simple gem placement, so I think I wanna do a rhinestone here, a rhinestone here, and then maybe one at the bottom here like so. That looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. Actually, I have my flash curing lamp. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just flash for everything in place. And I'm gonna repeat that process on the rest of the nails. All right, y'all, let me go ahead and throw some lotion on my hands and all these crusty cuticles, and we finna, we finna get into the finished look, okay? All right, you guys. Ain't she cute, though? Yes, I am absolutely loving how this set turned out, baby. Neon vibes are in the air. I think I did a pretty good job with this reverse ombre situation that's been trending all over social media. And y'all, I like the effect. It kind of gives like a 3D effect to the nails, which I absolutely love. It's just, it's different and it's new and I like it, you know? So yeah, I know summer is coming to an end and I know these are some bright, vibrant colors, but honestly, I'm not ready for the fall just yet. Like, it's been gloomy out here and y'all, I have been missing the hot, weather but yeah it's time for a new season so i just wanted to go ahead and pop in with one more nice bright happy set before we um bring summer to a close 
And yeah, y'all, you know my sets ain't complete without that bling. I'm loving the neon bling. This is actually my first time using neon bling, and I'm here for it. I love it. It's cute. It's different, and I love that like they match the nails. So yeah, y'all, that's my set. Let me know what y'all think down in the uh, comments. Also, how do y'all feel about doing the lazy girl method with acrylic? Is that something you all would try? I absolutely loved it. Um, it made life a lot easier for me, so I'll definitely be trying that again. So my final thoughts on the Born Pretty acrylics um I mean this monomer is really strong okay I don't like the smell of it I think it's just is if you're somebody who's simp if you're someone who's sensitive to monomer smells this is not a monomer that you will enjoy um so I don't know it, it might be worth it to get like some of those older odorless drops and or use a different monomer that's not as strong if you're someone that's sensitive to the smell of monomer um I'm I'm pretty neutral on it but this one it did kind of um had my nose burn at certain points um so yeah i'm not the biggest fan of the monomer but the acrylic powders i think overall they perform pretty well i would like to try i am gonna in a separate video maybe swatch these with like my young nails monomer and see how they perform with that i think i might have a little bit of an easier time working with it i felt like using this monomer with their acrylics using their monomer with their acrylics the acrylics sit really really fast and so i had to work really fast um and luckily i did the lazy girl method so they worked out fine but if I was actually sculpting my nails, I think I would have a difficult time with it. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. Um, overall, it's a pretty decent kit. Special thanks to Born Pretty for sending these over to me to review. I had a lot of fun working with them. It was different. It was new, and I liked it. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres, where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around. Join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys... Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!